It was quarantine day eight. I was staring at myself in the mirror, my very dirty mirror. And then I was looking at my roots and I was like, whoa, those need to get done. They look really bad. I should also clean my mirror. But then I looked up, how do you cover up like dark roots? And it said cornstarch. So I went downstairs and I ran to get some cornstarch. Oh, look, I'm wearing mismatching socks again. Open the cupboard to try to find some cornstarch. And it was kind of difficult because we have a lot of things in there. And I found it. It was hiding behind the chocolate chips. And I love chocolate chips. So I grabbed some and ate some on the floor. Where every time I see chocolate chips, I end up eating a ton of them. But I got the cornstarch. And then my mom came home from grocery shopping. And I couldn't go grocery shopping, but she said that she got me some stuff. So she laid it all out in the trunk as if I was about to go grocery shopping. It was really cute. And she got me a bunch of vegan things and gluten-free things. And honestly, best mom ever. I was so happy. Okay, but then I had to carry it all in, which was very difficult. But I mean, I made it. We're good. I didn't drop anything. I some gluten-free tortillas, some vegan wings, and some leeks for soup. Oh my god, soup. I made a half heart with my hand and she didn't understand what I was doing at all. It was really funny. Okay, sidetracked. Anyways, I went and grabbed my cornstarch and I ran upstairs with it. Basically, all you have to do is take some cornstarch with a brush, spill it all over yourself. I literally got it everywhere. And oh my gosh, cornstarch is so difficult to get off of black clothing. Anyways, you're just supposed to take a brush apparently and then just put it all over your roots. It did not look like it was working at all. It took me like forever to blend it in and I got powder everywhere. So I mean, not really worth it. I was going downstairs to put away the cornstarch. I thought I saw poop on the ground, but it was actually just a tiny leaf. Put the cornstarch away and then I saw some potatoes, some sweet potatoes, some freaking avocado, some mushrooms, some onions. And then my mom showed me the breakfast that she made this morning. And I was like, whoa, I'm totally gonna make that. A really good potato breakfast bowl. So first you start off with some olive oil and then you get all of your potatoes, whatever kind you want and you put them in but don't splatter yourself with olive oil and then you season it make sure you season your food you gotta use like cajun seasoning stuff you know anything you want honestly just make sure it's seasoned and then you got your avocado flip your potatoes though they almost burnt then i tried to do that thing that people do on instagram like you know the fit people who always eat avocados and then they take like the seed out with the knife and then i tried that it worked but i could not get the seed out of the knife and i also tried to do that thing where you cut the avocado into like little cubes and then you squeeze it out didn't really work but it kind of worked potatoes were done then i had to just put in the mushrooms because they were already kind of cooked warmed that up and then <laughs> i squashed the avocado on top and it looked like that it was actually really cute i actually tried it and i didn't expect it to actually taste that good but it was so freaking good that night i was sitting in my room again shocker and i was like my hair is bothering me so much sometimes during the day it just bothers me so i'm just gonna show you guys how i do my buns because i've been getting a lot of requests about that literally all you do is you loop your hair twice around and then on the third loop you just don't pull it all the way through and then you pull it all like the little baby hairs and there's your beautiful little bun next day i woke up and i was like oh my gosh literally i fell asleep i forgot to film the rest of my vlog and in the middle of the night i decided to just clean up my closet but then i left it all there because I accidentally fell asleep. So I took out my retainer, stepped over the giant pile of clothes. I could barely open my freaking door. Kind of looked like a gremlin here. And then I went to go shower, but then I was like, wait, I should probably not shower. So I changed into my gym stuff. And I was like, I gotta go put these clothes somewhere. I cannot live with this messy room. So my mom helped me. Thank you, mom. And then I, I accidentally fell. Is everything so heavy? Or maybe I'm just weak. And then I went down the stairs and I saw my rat. I said hi to her. She kind of smelled really bad. She always smells a little off. It's okay. She's like 15 years old. So I put the clothes in the basement and then I got ready and I was like, wait, my mirror is still dirty. I still did not clean it. You know what? is clean though my closet that boy literally took me four hours you should have seen it before it was determined to clean my mirror so i ran downstairs but i saw coffee and i was like wait that tiktok coffee you know that trend i wanted to make it smelt the espresso powder and honestly it kind of smelled like a butt but it's okay got foam cloud coffee type thing anyways you're supposed to put all the equal parts of the ingredients in a bowl and some water and i was like oh i'm gonna put some vanilla in because vanilla is good so i poured a cap full of vanilla in and then i smelt the vanilla and that's the first time i ever smelled vanilla and thought it smelled really bad and then i tried to whisk it and then my mom said that we had a baby whisk so i went to grab it and it was super cute and i accidentally spilled some of the coffee mixture on my hand my mom looked disappointed but it was okay and then all you had to do was just mix she told me to get off the counter though and then i sat down and i mixed and i got on the counter and i mixed and i mixed and it literally took so long to mix it you guys were right when you said it takes like half an hour and then i spilt more all over my hand <sighs> this is not going well and then i went in the fridge even worse there was no oat milk to be found so i grabbed the vanilla almond milk because i i mean i guess that's okay it's the closest to oat milk whatever i spilt more of it on my hand and i was like i'm done with this whisk this baby whisk sucks so then i cleaned it and i went to grab some ice and put it in my cup and I poured in the almond milk and I poured the mixture on top even though it wasn't fluffy at all I totally made it wrong but it still tasted pretty good got some coffee stains on my arm though but it's okay I tasted it again I was like okay, yeah you know it's not good so I grabbed my cleaner out the paper towel and I ran upstairs because I was like it is finally time to clean the disgusting mirror that I keep looking at every day so I cleaned it and there was shiny beautiful